Hey everyone, I'm Joey Lancianis from Dick Sporting Goods, and I'm standing here with Kurt Ainsworth, who's the founder and CEO of Marucci Sports. Today, Kurt's gonna give us a little history and heritage into what has become one of the best baseball sport brands in the game today. So Kurt, I appreciate the time, man. Yeah, thank so, you. So uh, tell us a little bit about those humble beginnings from Marucci, how you guys kinda got off the ground and where y'all started. Yeah, I mean, really, it happened by accident. Almost 15 years, just over 15 years ago now, uh, we had a couple guys that got injured playing baseball, went back, and our trainer was Jack Marucci here at LSU, and you know, we started thinking about life after sports, and this is how we came up with the idea of a, of a bat company. And again, what's, we've been very blessed and to grow to where we are now from starting with a wood bat company 15 years ago. And so like, has, it, has it been a blur? Has it gone slow? Has it just been a whirlwind for you? What have those 15 years really felt like? Yeah, it's, it's been a whirlwind, obviously. Uh, we've been very blessed. We have a great team here. Uh, it's been pretty awesome to have all the players uh, involved in the company, player owned, uh, player designed products. To go from where we started as a wood bat in a backyard shed to where we are now has been amazing. So tell me a little bit about that backyard shed. Like, it seems like one of those true, you know, uh, just American dream type stories here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. It's yeah. where it started, and now you guys are still here, you know, homegrown. Tell us a little bit of, uh, about that story, you know, um, about the shed and, and where it's grown into now. Yeah, it started in uh, Jack Marucci's backyard shed, and then it moved to my backyard shed and then we moved to a different area in town in Baton Rouge, more of an industrial area, area. and now we've grown into 10 buildings and really grown this into a much bigger business. Uh, you know, but it was it is kind of the all-American story of starting in a backyard shed and now yeah. growing into this area now where we have almost 200 employees. Was it always thought or, or or dreamed of that you could kind of become this, could become one of the best brands in the game today? Or at the, at the beginning, like when Jack was making the bass in his backyard, was it a hobby or did he think it could become what it is today? No, I mean, when Jack started, it was just a hobby. After football practice at LSU, he'd go cut bats yeah. and that was kind of his release. And then Joe and I decided to try to take that into the next, to take the next step and take it into building a business around that. And, you know, fast forward now, 15 years we've grown into you know a global brand of not just wood bats but all sporting goods for baseball and softball what was it 15 years ago that that sparked that fire so you said um you really thought we could do more with it what what was it when you talked to jack marucci and what was it about him making those bats and what you saw in the game at that time where you were like i think we can do more yeah, we just saw an opportunity uh, to go in there and, and create a niche for ourselves and make you know all perfect bats. I think that was the one thing that we saw in the market. We were going to make game-ready bats for everything. Every bat was going to be perfect, and our attention to detail is what separates us gotcha. here at Marucci. Is everything we do here, 16 sets of hands touch every bat, which you'll see in a minute when we go through the process. Wow. But the attention to detail, and we take that from the wood bats into our other product categories as well. So the quality is unmatched. The quality is unmatched. That's awesome. And now, so it started as a wood bat company, and now it's grown into helmets, batting gloves, ball gloves, kind of the whole gamut of, of everything you need on the diamond. Yeah, we can outfit a player from head to ankles, where we say everything but shoes. That's, that's, that's awesome. And now, we started in the shed, but now you have a fully functioning uh, warehouse right here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where it all started. So why don't we go take a look at the factory? All right, let's go. All right, Kurt, so here we are in the factory right here in Baton Rouge where you make and produce all of your wood bats. Yep. Tell us a little bit. This certainly isn't a backyard shed, right? No, so it's grown how, a how awesome is this when, when you look out of the floor 15 years now and you see this, you, you know, you see the happy employees yeah. and everything that you're producing, how does this make you feel? Yeah, this is special. This is what it's all about, right? We started in that backyard shed to have this group of guys that are in here working every single day and, you know, going from producing a few bats a week to you know, 1,200 bats in a day. Yeah. Uh, and to have multiple shifts and have 40 people work throughout here in a day is, is really something that's special. We've been blessed with great people. And that's bats at the big league level, yep. at retail. I mean, it, it's really to the masses. It is. Obviously, if we're doing the big league bats, there's a lot less you do in the day because of the attention to detail sure. and it's so much harder to make. Uh, but yeah, we can do up to 1,200 bats a day in here in this facility. How have you grown the, the culture at Marucci? I mean, you know, everybody, we've, we've been here for a few days now. You guys have been awesome hosts. But everybody truly enjoys what they do. They love coming to work. They love showing what, what they do with their craft, and the craftsmanship is showing in the quality of the bats. Yeah. How have you built the culture here? You know, there's a lot of athletes here, and a lot of people are really competitive, and we want to win. So we want to be better than everybody else, and I think we challenge ourselves every day to get better and better, and our finishes change each year. You know, we always add something different to our process to get better. We don't just stay, you know, and, and you know, kind of rest on our laurels. We want to get better and better each year. Yeah. So we talked about the beginnings, and obviously now this factory that you can look out on. How rewarding is this for you? When, when you see stuff like this, how does this make you feel personally? Yeah, it makes me feel really good when you see the people that have been here for a long time. You know, we've had guys that have been here from the beginning. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of turnover, and 
there is a lot of pride in everything we do here. And as you walk through the halls and you talk to people, everybody has pride in, in what they do. And it's great when you can see the product that you make here yep. on TV at night, yep. especially at this time of year in the World Series or the playoffs. It's, it's a lot of fun. And it's the very lights rewarding. are shining bright, yep. Yeah, yeah, and we've done really well. We've been very fortunate to have some of the best players in the game obviously swing our bats. And so when you go out there and watch games and you turn on TV, you know, this is just special. And we've, uh, we've created something special here. And we always like to say this is the roots to our tree. Our organization's a big tree. The, the, the wood bats are the roots, and we got to keep that strong, and that's what this team's all yep. about. We see them root GM all over the diamond. You guys have definitely had some big moments at the biggest level, that's for sure. This factory is impressive. It's definitely inspiring. Why don't we go have a chat at your office? All right, sounds good. Now, Kurt, as we were walking through the office here, the, the pictures and kind of just the homage to, to Marucci and then the big leaguers who use the brand and represent the Marucci M, it's, it's just all inspiring. So w when we stopped at the one hallway though, you mentioned some of the pictures of the, of the sheds, you know, at, at starting out and how you were making bats by hand. Um, and you, you mentioned quality. So you, you mentioned your experience firsthand in, in the big leagues at the clubhouse. Tell, tell us about that, that quality story because that was really inspiring. Yeah, no, it was, it was commonplace, you know, when we were in the big leagues and Joe and I played in the big leagues that a player would get 12 bats and only three or four would be good enough for a game. And then they would use five or six for BP and the rest they would sign and give away. And we said, that just doesn't make sense. We're gonna change the game a little bit. We're gonna come in and make every bat a gamer. Every bat's gonna be game ready. And so when we started the company out of that shed, player would order a dozen bats, we'd send two. We'd send four. And they would call us and be like, what is wrong with you? We ordered a dozen. Yeah. Well, that's all we have good wood for. And so that is really what created the, the So you were upfront about that too. You would, if, if we don't have 12 good bats, I'm not sending you 12 good bats. That's it. That's we, had, awesome. we weren't paying players. We didn't have sales reps in the clubhouse. So it was really word of mouth from the best players. If you had a Marucci bat, you know it was a game ready bat. It was a, it was a perfect gamer bat. And that's how we started the whole company. Wow, that's awesome. And just taking kind of ownership of that, like knowing like, this, this dude requested 12 bats, but if we're only gonna give him what's good and what he can use in the big leagues at the box. Yeah, that's a tough decision. Yeah. Obviously, it's, it's hard financially to make that decision because yeah. you throw out a lot of wood. And uh, you know, it, it was tough from the business to get started that way, but that is really what built this whole business that we have today is just, we keep that same attention to detail. We use that same quality. Every bat's a gamer that goes to a pro player. So you talk about the expense. Obviously, you, for quality and the best quality you know, at the big leagues in that level and, and out to the masses at retail, you, you have to invest in quality. Right. So obviously, that the quality that you guys are doing where every bat is good enough for the best players on the planet to swing in a game, it takes more time, more effort, and more money. So just, uh, you know, what is that in, in terms of like going back on, you know, maybe you wanted to launch off a little faster than you thought, but how, how hard was patience for you at the beginning, knowing that quality was going to win out? Yeah, it's extremely tough. I mean, it was an investment is what we did. Um, you know, we took a few years to get going and, um, you know, we wanted to make sure it was built on quality. And so we, it's about investing in the right people. It's yeah. about investing in the right equipment. And now, you know, to control your own wood mill is a, is a big deal for somebody in our industry. So we control our own wood, wood all the way from the forest all the way to the field. And I think that's what gives us the leg up. Yeah, hands on the entire step of the process. That's right. And then to, to, to hire the people we've hired out there that have been with us as long as they have, they understand our process, they understand our players. Um, I think that's really what has catapulted us to that next level. And look, we, we take that same attention to detail to our other product categories, whether it's aluminum bats, fielding yeah. gloves, uh, uniforms, bags, everything. We want that same focus and attention to detail on those products as well. And you guys are excelling in the other products, so that, that attention detail is showing as well. We are. We're, we're been very blessed. Yeah. We're growing fast. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. So now we've talked about a lot of big moments, but what was kind of that one moment, kind of that aha where it was just like, you took a step back, maybe the eyebrows raised a little bit, and you were like, Damn, Marucci's arrived. Like, what was what was that move? Yeah, I think the biggest moment I could say on that is in 2013 when we announced we were the number one bat in the big leagues. And then the next day in the USA Today, it was confirmed that Marucci was the number one bat in the big leagues. Uh, that was a huge moment for our That's company. Awesome. You know, we've had some three homer games in the World Series. We've had seven of eight in the uh, home run derby using our bat. We've had some really big moments, but that one was really special. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, we talked about the culture earlier and walking through the building. You really get a feel for that vibe of everybody here. They, they seem like they really enjoy coming to work. They, they love what they do. You mentioned the competition. People are athletes, people are competitive, they want to win, they want to be the best. Um, but what we loved here, and since you guys have hosted us in Baton Rouge, is you are the CEO of the company, and your desk is right by the front door. So when, when we first came in, we kind of did a double take, and we were like, Kurt is buzzing people in, you're, you're looking at people come in, so how, you, you don't typically see that in, in a company with the success that Marucci has. Is this something that you did on purpose? What, like, was, there, was there something behind that? Because this is really cool, and I think speaks to us visiting that, that we didn't have much of a background, but it was an immediate like, this culture is pretty special. 
Yeah, we, we treat it like a clubhouse, right? Yeah. And my door is always open. Everybody can come talk to me at all times. And you know, you can ask the employees, they laugh. I am upfront. I do know what's going on. Uh, we have personal friendships and relationships with the people that work here. We know what they do, their family, their kids. Yeah. And you know, I like to be involved in, you know, in their personal lives as well as being here. And I think that that's what adds to the culture of here is we're, we're a big family. Yeah. Well, if you're ever running late, you don't want to skip by a curse desk at the end of the beginning of the day. I don't notice anything, yeah, trust yeah, yeah. me. <laughs> they, they, they all know that. Yeah. Trust, they all know. I know when people get here, when yeah. they leave. But, you know, it's it's all in good fun. Yeah. And we have a, an unbelievable team here. And, uh, you know, we want to keep adding to that. But I like being a part of it. I want them to see me when they yeah, walk in the sure. door every day. And, you know, I want to be a part of this. And I love it. No, like I said, when we came in, we really, we all, the whole team at Dix thought it was really awesome. So that's great. So I guess kind of the, the big golden question is, where do you see Marucci in the next few years? Like, well, what's what's the, the big picture for you down the line? Without revealing too much that you don't want to say, yeah. but just goals and, and where do you see kind of this, you know, rocket, rocket going? You know, I think the sky's the limit. We've grown so fast over the past, you know, really five or six years that yeah. I see us really growing in other categories from the, the non-wood bats, the aluminum and composites. The glove line's really going to do a lot more and, yeah. you know, our new innovation department we have here, you know, I think a lot of people are talking about that, but we really are putting a lot more attention into making the best products out there and our goal is always to get kids the products they want and need to be successful. So we're at the park. We yeah. coach our kids. We go out and watch games and so the answers to the test I tell our team are out of the ballpark. Let's go to the ballpark and find out what we need yeah. to develop for the next generation of kids and the next, the group that's out there playing right now and you know I think that we're going to continue to grow globally yeah. um, we're growing internationally right now and I think that you know with the team we've assembled here it's the sky's the limit yeah I mean baseball is a great sport it's yeah. special it's done a lot for me that's why in the hall you can see our manifesto where it has honor the game at yeah. the bottom and you know I try to live that here I try to teach that at home with my boys I want them to live that and I love the fact that they're our toughest critics yeah like, they're the ones that get to test the products and tell our product team how they're doing and it, it is really a, a special game and it, it teaches a lot of good you know, values for kids growing up playing baseball and softball, yep. right? We have a lot of softball players in here as well. So, you know, we really want to pick the brains of our kids, our families, and yep. as we coach our teams, we want to make that be our driving force to get better. Yep, there's a lot of taglines out there for a lot of brands, but it seems like Honor the Game truly means something to the Marucci brand. It does. There's no overnight success stories, no shortcuts. You know, it's just about hard work and hustle and that's what we stand for here. Yep. Well, that's awesome. Well, Kurt, I appreciate the time. This has been this has been an awesome trip. Uh, just appreciate the behind the scenes, you know, the, the tour of the factory, the tour of the offices, just the stories, you know, you were telling uh, the history and the heritage, just giving us a little glimpse into the su success and humble beginnings of, of Marucci and where you've grown it. And uh, I honestly can't wait to see what the Marucci M does next. So good luck in the future. Appreciate it. Thanks appreciate for the support. Bro. Thank you. Yeah.